name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to show you how to make custom letters in Illustrator. Now that you've got your grid showing, you're going to want your paintbrush. And this tool is right below the line tool, um, right next to the pencil tool. <clears throat> and you're going to want, it doesn't really matter what color you use, this is all depending on you, but one thing to absolutely make sure of is that you have no color in the fill panel, but in your stroke panel you do have color. because what you're essentially drawing is lines, but if you're making bubble text, then that's when you're going to want your fill. But for now, we're just going to do line text. So zoom in um, close enough where you can really get a good, <clears throat> a good view of, you know, um, how big you want your letter to be. Suppose maybe you want it to be your capital letters were an entire square. So it's easy to define this just by drawing it in and maybe you're deciding that it's too small but that's okay for now you should just stick to the grid because later on you can make it bigger now suppose you're not very comfortable with how thick your line is and this is very changeable you just go to your selection tool which is on the left up here and then you select your what you've drawn your path and up in the top, there's the stroke, the stroke panel. So you can change your stroke weight if you want. I'm gonna change mine to four. And then you can simply just go back to drawing. Um, and it really helps to count how many blocks you're using. For example, I, th I believe there's eight, yeah, there's eight, so it's eight tall, so I'm gonna make my E four tall because you want it to be about halfway for lowercase. Or if you're uncomfortable with that, like I said, you can change it. But I'm just doing that now to keep track of how big my letters are. Now, I'm gonna zoom out because at 100% my letters seem kind of small. So I'm gonna go ahead and select them and move them down. And then I'm just going to change the size of my E. And as you can see, it really doesn't affect at all when you, um, when you resize it because it's Illustrator and it's a vector program. So this is definitely um, the ideal program to use for when you're designing text. And then when you're done, if you have a font program, you can probably um, just bring these into that. Um, but you can't make a font on Illustrator, but this is a great place to design it. My name is Alex, and this is how you create custom fonts with Illustrator. Thank you.